Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss CCNA version 7 packet tracer activity. Connect the physical layer. Before that, friends, if you are watching our channel first time or if you like to get this type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Huh, one more thing, we are ready with our website. So if you like to uh, contact our team, uh, you can visit our website, a link I given in the description. Okay, now we will come back to our packet tracer activity. In this activity, we will identify physical characteristics of internet working devices, then select correct modules for connectivity, then connect devices, and then finally we will check connectivity. Yes, in this activity, we will explore the different options available on internet working devices. We will also be required to determine which options provide the necessary connectivity when connecting multiple devices. Finally, we will add the correct modules and connect the devices. Also, they shown a note here, uh, scoring for this activity is a combination of packet tracer automated scoring and your record answers to the questions posed in the instructions. See the error, not a valid bookmark self-reference. At the end of this activity and consult with your instructor to determine your final score. Yes, this is just regarding the scoring of this activity. So whenever uh, we do this activity, uh, here we can see the changes in this uh, completion uh, status. Now we will move to part 1. Identify physical characteristics of internet working devices. So first of all, we will identify the management ports of a Cisco router. Click the East router. The physical tab should be active. Coming to our topology, here we can see many devices. So here they talk about East router. And coming to our topology, here we can see that East router. We will click on this East router okay and here we can see physical tab is active now zoom in and expand the window to see the entire router which management ports are available okay we will do that so we will zoom in and we will check this uh, uh, entire router then we will search for the management ports so here we will click on zoom in and here we can see power switch and here we can see other ports like serial gigabit and here we can see console port and aux port so these two ports uh, console port and aux ports uh, are the management ports next is uh, which LAN and WAN interfaces are available on the east router and how many are there Okay, again we will come back to this uh, east router and we will zoom in, uh, it's already in zoom in and uh, here we can see uh, two serial interfaces, okay, then here we can see uh, two uh, gigabit Ethernet ports. Now click the CLI tab, press the enter key to access the user mode prompt and enter the following commands, show IP interface brief why we give this command the output verifies the correct number of interfaces and their designation the vlan 1 interface is a virtual interface that only exists in software and here they ask a question how many physical interfaces are listed okay so we will go to cli and we will give this a show ip interface brief command and then we will verify it coming to our router east cli Press and return to get started. We will press enter. Enable. Here we are going to give the command. Show. We can type sh then press tab. IP space int then tab button. Interface then b tab. Then press enter. And here we can see all the interfaces. Here we can see uh, four uh, physical interface and one uh, virtual interface so as per our question here we have uh, four physical interfaces 
gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. Okay, next is enter the following commands. Okay, uh, we are going to enter these uh, following show commands. It's show interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. What is the default bandwidth of this interface? So we will get this uh, default bandwidth using this uh, show interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. We will give that command here. Show interfaces uh, interface name is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 then press enter now we have to search for the uh, its uh, bandwidth and here we can see that bw this is bandwidth and here we can see the bandwidth it's in kilobit in the same way what is the default bandwidth of this interface uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. We have to uh, give this a uh, show command show interface uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Okay. Here we'll press control C show int tab interfaces. You have to go to serial, I think it's uh, 0 slash 0 slash 0. Yes, it's correct. Serial, oh, we already given that 0 slash 0 slash 0. Okay. Now we will uh, check for the bandwidth. It's here. It's one five four four kilobit. Okay. Okay. Now here they given a note. Bandwidth on serial interfaces is used by uh, routing processes to determine the best path to a destination. It does not indicate the actual bandwidth of the interface. Actual bandwidth is negotiated with a service provider. Now we will go to step 2 identify module expansion slots. How many expansion slots are available to add additional modules to the east router? So click switch to how many expansion slots are available. Okay, first of all we will go to this uh, east router and then we will check this uh, uh, expansion slots. How we can identify that physically we have to identify it. So I think we have to go to physical tab and uh, yes, here we can see uh, one uh, expansion slot. It's one. Next we will uh, go to switch two and then we will uh, check how many expansion slots are available uh, in this device. We'll close it and we will uh, search for this uh, switch two. It's here. We'll click on it and uh, here now we are in physical uh, tab okay and uh, here we can see the number of uh, uh, slots one two three four uh, it's even we can say it's five because uh, here they used the cover uh, for uh, these uh, four slots and uh, uh, we can see one slot without cover for example even we can add uh, okay just we will let we'll put off this device and uh, here we will add this uh, interface here it's possible yes so even we can see this uh, slots with covers even we can remove this cover from here yes it's possible or even we can add it yes so here we can say in this switch we have uh, five expansion slots and in the same router uh, i mean this uh, east router We'll go to this east router and we'll go to physical and here we can see actually uh, with one cover okay so it's two here we can see uh, two expansion slots uh, right so we can put off this and we'll uh, try to remove this uh, cover oh it's not removing right mm, okay so here we can see one Okay, anyway, so now we will go to part 2. Select correct modules for connectivity. Step 1. Determine which modules provide the required connectivity. Click East and then click the physical tab. On the left beneath the modules label, you see the available options to expand the capabilities of the router. Click each module. A picture and a description display at the bottom. 
familiarize yourself with these options okay that can be done so we will go to our router east and now we are in physical tab so here we can see the modules different modules so once we click on it it will be uh, expanded again and uh, we can go through each uh, modules we'll click on this module uh, it's hwic hyphen 1ge hyphen sfp and here we can see the picture and here we can see the description about this uh, module yes uh, this uh, module is a single wide HWIC with one small form factor pluggable slot. Okay, here we can go through that descriptions. So now we will go to HWIC-2T. So it's a serial uh, uh, interface. So here we can see uh, HWIC-2T is a Cisco two port serial high speed WAN interface card providing two serial ports okay and here we can see the picture and this hwic hyphen 4 esw provides the four switching ports next here we can see hwic hyphen 8a uh, it provides up to eight asynchronous uh, eia hyphen 232 connections to console ports okay and here we can see uh, cover plates uh, for the protection for the internal ele uh, electronic components okay and uh, here we can see something operates in a gigabit ethernet ports of cisco industrial ethernet and smart grid switches and routers yes this all about uh, these modules next is you need to connect a pcs one two and three to the east router but you do not have the necessary funds to purchase a new switch which module can you use to connect the three pcs to the east router just now we have seen that uh, a module here hwic-4 esw so we will click on it and here we can see uh, this uh, module provides uh, four uh, switching ports so here they mentioned we have to connect these uh, three pcs uh, PC 1, 2 and 3. So here we can see those PCs, PC 1, PC 2 and PC 3. So we have to connect these uh, three PCs to this uh, router east. So we can add uh, this uh, module. And how many hosts can you connect to the router using this module? Uh, it's obviously 4 because here we can see those ports 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now click switch 2, which module can you insert to provide a gigabit optical connection to switch 3. Ok, we will close this and then we will go to uh, switch 2. Uh, so we have to connect from switch 2 uh, to this uh, switch 3 uh, using this uh, gigabit optical connection. Ok, so we will click on this switch 2. So here we will uh, check for that. Uh, we have to connect using optical fiber uh, gigabit so uh, gigabit uh, here we can see gigabit it's a c and here we can see pt switch nm hyphen 1 fge okay we'll click on it and here we can see the single port uh, cisco gigabit ethernet network module provides gigabit ethernet optical connectivity for access routers okay so we can use this module okay now we will go to uh, step two Add the correct modules and power up devices. Click East and attempt to insert the appropriate module from step 1A. Modules are added by clicking the module and dragging it to the empty slot on the device. Okay, we can do that. We will close this switch 2 and then we will go to East. Okay, right. So here we will select this uh, HWIC-4 ESW to connect these PCs, PC1, PC2 and PC3. Okay, we will click on it. And now we will uh, drag these ports to the same T slot. Okay, then we will leave it. And here we get a message. Cannot add a module when the power is on. Okay. So here they say uh, they cannot add a module when the power is on message should display yes we have seen that 
interfaces for this router model are not hot swappable. The device must be turned off before adding or removing modules. Yes, we have to keep in mind. Click the power switch located to the right of the Cisco logo to turn off East. Insert the appropriate module from step 1A. When done, click the power switch to power up East. Okay, so what we have to do? Uh, we have to go to our East and here we can see a power button. We will click on it. So now it's off. Now we can add these uh, ports to this uh, MD slot. Yes, now it works. Then we have to put it on. Now uh, they given a note here. If you insert the wrong module and uh, need to remove it, drag the module down to its picture in the bottom right corner and release the mouse button. Okay, uh, suppose if you want to uh, remove uh, these uh, ports. Okay, here we will uh, put off it. Then we can drag these uh, ports, then come here, then we have to leave it here. So it's removed. Same way we can add it here, then put it on. Okay, next is uh, using the same procedure, insert the module that you identified in uh, step 1B into the empty slot uh, furthest to the right in switch 2. Okay, we will close this east. Then we will go to our switch 2. Okay, then uh, here our module is uh, this uh, pt-switch-nm-1fg, we will click on it and we will uh, try to add it. So we get this uh, message, you cannot add a module when the power is on, okay. So we will put it off, here we can see the switch, it's off now, here we can see a green color, now it's on. Now it's off, okay. So we will add this uh, module to our switch. Okay, now we will put it on. Next is uh, use the show IP interface brief command on switch 2 to identify the slot in which the module was placed. Uh, into which slot uh, was it inserted? We can check that. We will go to switch. CLI press return to get started ok enable show IP interface brief and here we can see all the interfaces in this uh, switch 2 ok we will expand it and here we can see the interface so what we added it's a gigabit Ethernet 5 slash 1. So here we can see the slot. Uh, the slot is 5. How we will identify that slot uh, from this uh, physical tab? So here we can see the slot is uh, starting from 0, then 1, 2, etc. So uh, the added uh, port is a gigabit Ethernet 5 slash 1. So the slot is 5. We will verify that. We will go to physical tab and here we can see we will start from here. So this is a zeroth slot, first slot, second slot, third slot, fourth slot and here we can see the fifth slot where we added our module. Okay, now we will move to part 3, connect devices. This may be the first activity you have done where you are required to connect devices. Although you may not know the purpose of the different cable types, use the table below and follow these guidelines to successfully connect all the devices. I think in the previous PyCatracer activity, we have seen some of the connectivity. Anyways, here we are going to connect a more number of devices. So uh, select the appropriate cable type, click the first device and select the specified interface. Then click the second device and select the specified interface. If you have correctly connected two devices, uh, you will see your uh, score increases uh, here uh, in this uh, completion status. And here they given an example. To connect east to switch 1, select the copper straight through cable type. Then first you click on east and choose gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface. Then click switch 1 and choose gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Your score should now be uh, 4 out of 55 or maybe uh, here uh, it shows the percentage uh, so this percentage may increase 
also the given a note for the purposes of this activity a link lights are disabled okay you know we cannot identify uh, using this uh, uh, link lights whether we connected correctly or not no problem we can uh, do it uh, very easily and here we can see our table uh, here we can see the first device and uh, in this device uh, which interface we have to connect then uh, what type of cable we have to use then the other end where we have to connect uh, to which interface we have to connect so according to this table we are going to connect uh, these uh, devices first of all we have to go to device uh, east then uh, here we have to connect to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and we have to use the cable type copper straight through okay so coming to our connections uh, you'll click on connections then we will uh, check for the copper straight through cable it's here we will click on it then we will go to our uh, router east so here we can see our router east when we click here we can see the pop-up uh, with all the interfaces and uh, here we can see the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 we will click on it okay then now we have to go to switch 1 here we can see switch 1 so here we will click on it and here we have to select gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 here we can see the interface okay it's here yes once we connect these uh, devices so here we can see uh, this completion status is increased also here we can see uh, these uh, link lights are shown here okay but uh, they given that note here for the purposes of this activity uh, link lights are uh, disabled anyway uh, no problem anyways either these uh, link lights are disabled or enabled uh, the thing is only we have to connect these devices correctly now we will go to the next connectivity uh, again from the same east device uh, we have to use copper straight through and we have to connect to gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 then we have to connect to switch 4 uh, to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 so here we can see our uh, copper straight through then coming to our router east we'll click on it then we will uh, select interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 okay then coming to switch 4 we have to connect to gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 next we will connect from the uh, same device east uh, to the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 slash 0 and here we are going to use copper straight through cable and we are going to connect to this pc1 uh, to the interface fast ethernet 0 okay so here is our uh, copper straight through cable coming to east here we are going to connect to fast ethernet 0 slash 1 slash 0 then coming to pc1 fast ethernet 0 in the same way we have to connect to these same devices pc2 and pc3 uh, from this router east using copper straight through cable and uh, here we can see uh, the interface uh, where we have to connect uh, in the east we have to connect to fast ethernet 0 slash 1 slash 1 and 0 slash 1 slash 2 so coming to copper straight through from this uh, router east we have to connect to fast ethernet 0 slash 1 slash 1 to pc2 fast ethernet 0 again copper straight through cable uh, from this uh, east we have to connect to uh, fast ethernet 0 slash uh, 1 slash 2 to this pc3 whenever we connect these devices uh, here we can see this uh, completion status uh, increases every time okay that's all from this uh, east device now uh, we will go to a uh, switch one here we can see a uh, switch one uh, we have to connect to PC4, PC5 and uh, PC6. So here we can see those PCs, PC4, PC5 and PC6. And here we are going to use uh, cable type copper straight through. And uh, here we can see the ports. Uh, PC4 we have to connect to fast ethernet 0 slash 1. PC5 we have to connect to fast ethernet 0 slash 2. 
Then PC6 we have to connect to faster thirds 0 slash 3. Easily we can do that. Uh, here we will select this uh, connection type copper straight through cable. Then coming to switch 1, here we will connect to first Ethernet 0 slash 1. So here we can see that. First to port. Then coming to PC4, we will connect to first Ethernet 0. Now here, instead of coming uh, to this uh, copper straight through multiple times, uh, what we can do, we can uh, press control button from the keyboard. Then we can press on this uh, copper straight through cable so that we can connect uh, multiple devices. Now we will go to uh, switch 1. Uh, we will connect to faster third and zero slash 2. Then we will connect to PC5. And here we can see uh, again we need to go to this copper straight through uh, uh, connectivity. Directly we can go to switch 1 again. Then we will connect to uh, faster third and zero slash 3. Then we will connect to PC6. Next connectivity is uh, device uh, switch 4 uh, to the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2. Uh, here we have to use the cable type as a copper crossover. We are going to uh, connect to the device switch 3 to the interface gigabit Ethernet 3 slash 1. So coming to our workspace, uh, here we can see now uh, we are in copper straight through. So, uh, we have to deselect this uh, copper straight through. For that, we have to press escape. Okay. Uh, then, uh, we can select this uh, cable type copper crossover. Here, we can see that. We will click on it. Now, we will go to uh, switch 4. It's here. Then, we have to connect to a gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2. It's here. Okay. Now, uh, we have to connect to switch 3. It's here. Uh, to the interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 3 slash 1. It's here. Next, we are going to connect switch 3 uh, to the interface gigabit Ethernet 5 slash 1 uh, using cable type fiber uh, to the device uh, switch 2 uh, to the interface gigabit Ethernet 5 slash 1. Okay, here we can see cable type is fiber. So, coming to our uh, connectivity, here we can see fiber. So, this is fiber. We will click on fiber. Then coming to uh, switch 3. Here we have to connect to uh, gigabit Ethernet 5 slash 1. Here we can see that. Now we have to go to uh, switch 2 and we have to connect to uh, gigabit Ethernet 5 slash 1. Next is uh, device switch 2. Port is faster Ethernet 0 slash 1 uh, using cable type copper straight through. Uh, we have to connect to uh, PC7. Uh, then also we have to connect in the same switch we have to connect to PC8 uh, also to PC9. Here coming to our topology here we can see our device switch 2. We are going to connect to these uh, PCs PC8, PC7, PC8 and uh, PC9 uh, using copper straight through. Here is copper straight through. We will press control and then we will click on this copper straight through. Then we have to release control. Now we will click on switch 2. Here we will connect to fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 to PC7. Okay. Now again click on switch 2. Fast Ethernet 1 slash 1. We have to connect to PC8. Again click on switch 2. Uh, interface is fast Ethernet 2 slash 1. We have to connect to PC 9 fast Ethernet 0. Now again from this device switch, uh, we have to use cable type copper straight through. Uh, interface is gigabit uh, 3 slash 1. We have to connect to the device access point uh, to the interface port 0. So here we can see our switch and already we uh, selected copper straight through cable type. And uh, here we can see our access point. We have to connect to port 0. Uh, we will click on uh, switch 2. And uh, here we can see uh, gigabit Ethernet 3 slash 1. We will click on it. Okay. Then coming to access point. 
we have to connect to port 0. Finally, we are going to uh, connect from east to west uh, using cable type serial DCE uh, interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Okay, so here we can see our east and uh, west routers. Now, uh, actually we selected copper straight through. Uh, we can press escape and here we have to select a serial DCE. Uh, we can see two types of uh, serial connectivity, serial DCE and uh, serial DTE. Uh, that's only the difference is uh, its clock. Okay, so here we are going to uh, select serial DCE as they specified. So we'll click on it. Then from this east, we have to connect to serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Coming to west, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Yes, so once we connect all these devices as per uh, our packet tracer activity requirements, uh, we can check our completion status. Uh, it shows 100 percentage. Now we will go to the final part, uh, check connectivity. Check the interface status on east. Click the CLI tab and enter the following commands. Show IP interface brief. Then compare the output to the following. Uh, if all of the cabling is correct, the outputs should match. Okay, so we will go to east, CLI, we'll press enter, enable show IP interface brief, then press enter. And here we can match with this uh, uh, following output. So it's up. And here we can see two interfaces are down. Serial 0 slash 0 slash 1, it's down. Here we can see that. Also we can see fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 slash 3, it's down. That's correct. It's down. Remaining all interfaces are up. That means whatever cabling done uh, in our uh, uh, workspace is correct. Okay, now in the next step, we are going to connect wireless devices, laptop and a tablet PC. Click the laptop and select the config tab. Select the wireless zero interface. Put a check in the box labeled or next to port status. Within a few seconds, the wireless connection should appear. Okay, so where is our laptop here? In this topology, here we can see our laptop. We will click on this uh, laptop. Then we will go to config tab. And here we can see wireless zero. We will click on it. Here we are going to put a check in the uh, checkbox labeled on uh, near to the port status. Here we can see port status and here we have to scroll to the right and here we can see uh, a checkbox on. We will click on it. So we, we are going to put on wireless. Yes, and within the moments we can see the wireless connection appeared uh, from the success point to this laptop. Next is uh, click the desktop tab of the laptop. Click on the web browser icon to launch uh, the web browser. Enter this URL www.cisco.pka in the URL box and click go. The page should display Cisco Packet Tracer. Okay, we will uh, copy this uh, URL and then we will come to laptop. Now we are in config tab. We will go to desktop tab. And uh, here we can see web browser. We will click on it. Then we will paste this uh, copied URL in this URL field. Then we will press go. And here we can see our web page. Cisco Packet Tracer web page. Next, click the tablet PC and select the config tab. Select the wireless zero interface. Put a check in the box labeled on next to 
port status. Within a few seconds, the wireless connection should appear. Okay, the same way how we done on this uh, laptop, we will do it on this uh, tablet PC. Uh, we will uh, click on this tablet PC, then we will go to config tab. Then here we can see a uh, wireless zero option. I mean the wireless zero interface. And uh, here we can see port status. Here is our checkbox. Uh, we'll tick on it. Okay, then we'll close it. Yes, within seconds, uh, this wireless connection appeared uh, from the success point to this tablet PC. Next, repeat the steps in uh, step 2B to verify the page displays. Okay, we are going to uh, use this uh, URL uh, in this tablet PC. We will go to tablet PC, then we will go to desktop tab and here we can see web browser. We will use this uh, URL uh, in this uh, URL field and then we will press go. And here we can see our website, Cisco Packet Tracer. Now in step 3, change the access method of the tablet PC. Click the tablet PC and select the config tab. Select the wireless zero interface. Uncheck the box labeled on next to port status. It should now be uh, clear and the wireless connection will drop. Okay, so we will go to tablet PC. We are going to disconnect from the success point. We have to go to config tab and uh, here uh, in this interface wireless zero then we are going to uncheck this uh, checkbox so it's a uh, disconnected from the success point then what is next click the 3g bar 4g cell 1 interface put a check in the box labeled on next to port status within a few seconds the cellular connection should appear okay here we are going to select this uh, uh, interface uh, 3G bar uh, 4G cell 1 we will click on it then here we are going to check this checkbox port status we will put it on and now we can see this uh, tablet PC uh, is connected to this uh, cell tower now repeat the process of verifying uh, web access Okay, we'll go to tablet PC, a desktop, then web browser. Uh, here we are going to use that URL www.cisco.pka. Then we will press go. And we are waiting for the web page. And after some moments, so here we can see we get our web page. There's a small delay maybe due to uh, convergence they given a note here uh, you should not have both the wireless zero interface and the 3g bar 4g cell one interfaces active at the same time this may cause confusion to the device when attempting to connect to some resources yes that's correct we should not uh, activate both interface uh, together uh, wireless zero and 3g bar 4g cell one coming to the last step check connectivity of the other pcs all of the PCs should have connectivity to the website and each other. You will learn to use connectivity testing in many upcoming labs. Okay, we will do one or two uh, connectivity tests uh, from the PCs. Okay, we will check from this PC1. We will go to desktop tab and here we will use web browser. And we will use that URL here. Whether we able to access? Yes, we able to access. Now we will try from PC5, desktop, web browser. Yes, it's working. Now we will go to PC9, okay, desktop, web browser. It's working. And here uh, they specify that all of the PCs uh, now have a connectivity to uh, not only to the website, also to uh, all other devices. Uh, we can verify that. We will uh, try to ping from uh, PC1 to PC3. So we will get the IP address of PC3. We will go to desktop, IP configuration and here we can see the IP address. So we will ping from PC1 to PC3. We will use command prompt here. 
here we can see the IP address of uh, PC3 172.29.1.102 and here we can see we get the replies it's working okay right so friends in this video we discussed uh, CCNA version 7 packet tracer activity connect to the physical layer now dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions uh, regarding this packet tracer activity please comment below also if you like our video give a thumb and share with all your friends also if you have any trouble uh, in this uh, packet tracer activity or in any packet tracer activity you can contact our uh, team uh, you can visit our uh, website a uh, link i given in the description so now stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.